Aquaba. Welcome to Expel Life Ghana. I'm Tony. This is my wife, Ayo. We're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. And in this video, we're at the Charlie Wode Festival. So let's get this video started. Okay, so by we, I mean you. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I was living it up, let me tell you. It looks like it. Right like now, it. Uh, let me say, there was so much happening at this festival with the food, the music, and the art. It was too much to take in in just one day. So I went for two days. <laughs> Some stats on the festival here. It started over a decade ago as a way to bring in art, music, and dance all together from local and international artists. And yo, there was every kind of art everywhere. So much graffiti, spoken word, paintings, and even folks making art out of recycled and upcycled materials. Really? That sounds really cool. It usually happens in August in one of the oldest fishing towns here in, uh, in Ghana, just outside of Accra in Jamestown, mm -hmm. which is iconic because of that red and white lighthouse positioned near old James Fort prison. Yep. It was open for the event. The prison was? Yeah. Really? The prison. Absolutely. They had the cells open for uh, displaying art, and some artists were in the cells actually creating pieces. It was a cool place to be able to go, to go into and to have, you know, that space mean something different. Wow, um, Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah, was in prison there. Yeah, and the um, site itself is going on 400 years old, so there's a lot of history there. And that's why seeing them creating art in those spaces was so impactful. Wow, that's really that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. The festival has grown over the years and has really become one of these kind of must-do for anybody who's in the art scene, especially in West Africa. Yeah, but it's way more than that. It's like Juneteenth Day and MLK <laughs> Day all rolled into one. It just has, <laughs> like, really, it just has like this feel that we're together and we're all eating and having fun and listening to music. It is just a real cool vibe. Wow. Really cool. And it's, it really is one of the bigger events in the region in mm -hmm. terms of art, but definitely in, in, in Ghana. Ghana for yeah, sure. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot going on. Okay, so uh, what all did you see and do? <laughs> all right, well, number one, the place was jumping with people, it's just so many people everywhere. So. The colors everyone's wearing, that got your attention because uh, I remember Sunday people were coming in from church, so that was something to see. And um, really, people put on the spread on Sundays, yeah. you know, you gotta look on point. <laughs> and uh, there were artists and their art everywhere. You couldn't you couldn't walk two feet without seeing a piece of art somewhere. That's good that there was that feel of density mm -hmm. to it too. You know, sometimes oh, yeah. you go to these things and it feels like it's yeah, sparse, yeah. so that density is really impactful, I think. Right, and there were people drawing on the ground <laughs> and the streets. And there was this tunnel with uh, huge pieces of artwork on the wall. Just the colors were popping and they just drew you in. Wow. I mean, that sounds like a lot to take in. Uh, they, all the vendors, are all the artists, were they selling those pieces too or were they just up for display? Some were up for display, some were for sale. Oh, cool, all mm -hmm. right. And then your nose was just, just getting all kinds of smells. There um. was food <laughs> all over. I don't mean bad smells, I mean like, yo, I want whatever they're cooking because, oh wow, the food was delicious. Um, from the local Ghanaian dishes, like goat kebab and that scent mm. of that spicy pepper filling the air. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet Luke would have been like, don't tell Luke about oh, that one because oh, yeah. that's his favorite. Yeah, I stopped and snacked my way through, you know, the streets <laughs> and got, you know, walking around with some popcorn and some uh, roasted corn. Uh, I was just enjoying the food bay. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, that. no, I mean, that's good. That's You go to these kind of events, you want to have food, you want to mm-hmm. be able to eat, but it's nice that you can kind of eat good local yes. dishes and like local, local treats. So that's cool. I like that. Join the conversation. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. Then there was the uh, performance art and the live art. And there was a category for recycled art and live art. Um, there was this man wearing um, his expression of the um, impact of plastic in Ghana. And oh. that was deep. It was like, um, had these plastic bottles all over them and uh, plastic like uh, bags, you know, the, mm-hmm, the, the sachet, sachet bags. Bag. Yeah, so. Interesting. Yeah, just, that was just interesting, just the, the live art. You told me too that there were like the, what do you call them? The flippers? The, the. The, the, the guys the doing the tumbling. Yeah, the, yeah, <laughs> the guys doing the tumbling and all that. So, uh, those guys are insane. Oh, wow. And like, they're all like, like this thin, you know, <laughs> like just doing these flips and standing on top of each other's heads. I and know, it's crazy. That's wild. Yeah, that's I mean, wild. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know. Could, mm-hmm. could you look me up on your back if we tried to? I'm not. sorry. Next question. All right. <laughs> so, uh, being in Jamestown, it's known for its boxing history. So Is that you, true? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I didn't know that. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. No, yeah, really. There's a big um, boxing um, facility there. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you saw the kids out there having sparring matches and lessons. Um, so, uh, there were also like arm wrestling uh, competitions. Uh, so it wasn't just art, it was like a physicality as a form of expression. That's really cool too, I yeah. like that. Yeah. Boxing as art? Mm-hmm. Okay, alright. All right. And I couldn't hear for the next two days. What do you what what do you mean? Uh, after I left the the, the festival, I couldn't Why? hear. The music. <laughs> oh, there's music everywhere. It was so loud. Wait, loud, uh, good or loud? Loud, good. Loud. <laughs> Very good. You know. Hi, I'm Leo. Subscribe right now. There were music, great music to start with, and then the DJs and the drummers, the dancers were out and about. And there were, uh, you know, live bands, performance of the music was worth it. And you're like, if you don't know this about Tony, he's an audiophile. He's like huge into the sound. I love music. Um, So any kind of music, sweet feet music. Just as long as it's grooving. (laughs) Okay, okay. All right. (laughs) (laughs) If you know what that's from, drop it in the comments. Oh, and I got my hands on some local spirits and drinks. Uh Uh-oh. Apoteshi was going hard there, so. uh, Um... Hmm. Yeah. Some of those Very things need a little warning label on them. I'm just going to say that, y'all. Triple X <laughs> with a skull on it. Yeah. Watch out for some of those local spirits. Just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what do you think overall? I mean, like, is this, do you think this is like a must-do event? Must-do event. Really? If you come, oh, yes. Yes. Must-do event. I mean, just being in Jamestown, seeing all the history there that it has to offer and being able to uh, be able to walk through the community in Jamestown um, and learn about it. Great place, great time. And you are really into like paint, <laughs> paintings and art yeah, pieces. The art. So I'm sure you really enjoyed the that. The visual part. I mean, just. It yeah, was everything, huh? It was everything. It yeah. was the sights, food, the sound. Food, art, the music. Taste. Oh. oh. Epiteshi. <laughs> so that was your trifecta, excluding the epiteshi, right? Yes. Taste, sound, sights, you're sold. Cherry on top. Apache. Hold it. <laughs> so there you have it. A must-do event here in Ghana, the Chale Wode Festival. Start planning your trip for August so that you can enjoy this amazing event. Absolutely. And if you're planning your return, join our Facebook closed group, 
so you can connect with folks just like you. Yes, and if you're planning your first trip to Ghana, check out what we have to offer on our website at expatlifeghana.com, including full service tours, airport pickups and drop-offs, and day trips to see the country. Plus, we now offer accommodations at our BMV. Check out the rooms and full service options online. Hey, did you subscribe? Don't forget to do it now. That way you can join us on our monthly lives the last Friday of every month right here on YouTube where we answer all your questions and kind of just get into everything gone. Everything gone. <laughs> yep. And with that, this Charlie, out for now. Chale, chale, bote. Chale, chale. Mm. I can't do that. Yeah, you, you did. But... I did it. No? You don't like it? Okay. I'll stop it. I played that one wrong. <laughs> I'm Tony, this is my wife, Ayo. We're talking many our move from Texas. Hold on, I had a just... Oh, you had a stroke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was... Good? Yep. Okay. Aquaba. I'm <laughs> just sitting here smiling like a dope waiting for you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Aquaba. Welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Tony. This is my wife, Ayo. We're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the term. For real? For real? I had to burp. <laughs> All right. It was like, took my mind. I don't know. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm ready.